So you and Melinda dedicate the letter to Paul Allen, your Microsoft co-founder who died of cancer in October. As you've reflected on his life over the past couple months and your shared experience with him, what have been your biggest memories and your insights from the time that, that you spent with Paul? Well, Paul was immensely curious and he read science fiction way more than I did. He was two years ahead of me and I had done super well on some math stuff. So he was always kind of egging me on, uh, hey, can you figure this computer thing out? Uh, and it was, you know, it was an amazing friendship because kids didn't hang out that much with kids who were two years younger. We, had, we were very much bonded when we did the uh, school schedule to, together. Uh, you know, Paul had gone off to Washington State and my closest friend who was also involved in the computer thing, Kent Evans, uh, was practically killed on, on Mount Rainier. And so I went to Paul and said, hey, come back and help me. And that sort of started a partnership that led uh, to Microsoft. And you know, Paul's credit for Microsoft is pretty immense because not only was, did he have this insight about the microprocessor, he literally moved back to Boston to, you know, not, I helped him get a job back there, but he was back there, not because he liked the winters or the place he was living, to basically bug me into dropping out because uh, he knew he wanted uh, to do the company with me. So he, you know, he, you know, was just back there. Uh, and then finally, uh, it looked like we were going to miss the whole thing when the first kit computer came out. And that's uh, when his argument, hey, Bill, drop out, uh, succeeded, and our first customer took us to Albuquerque, New Mexico. So Paul, you know, always was curious about things. Uh, you know, Paul didn't like being a manager all that much. Uh, he was always, and during the Microsoft days, I narrowed my interest very much to software. And so like when Paul took a bunch of guys to go to the shuttle launch, I was like, hey, wait a minute, we're supposed to deliver for IBM here. What the heck are you doing? So You heard about this DOS yeah. thing? Come on, guys. Uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, he always was wide ranging in his thinking and reading. If you go into his office, there would just be magazines, you know, kind of messy, but it, it you know, represent his, his broad interest. And even after Microsoft, he was funding lots of different things. Uh, you know, in the tech area, like uh, Starwave that Mike Slade ran ended up being the ESPN website. I don't think many people know that. that uh, that went pretty well. Some of them were more a dead end, but uh, like asymmetrics, but they were pointing in the right direction uh, for things. So he, you know, he always looked far afield. Uh, he always, you know, wanted to find some new and different thing, you know, always a little bit ahead of his time uh, with the stuff he was doing. And, you know, now as my, you know, kids are getting older and, and leaving school, I was going to have more time to hang out with Paul because he's, you know, he's, he, he sort of explored the, hey, traveled the world, uh, you know, have nice boats thing, which I got to do some with him, uh, but I was expecting to do a ton of that uh, once uh, our, our kids were at college. Hey, where are you at this point in terms of coming to grips with the fact that he's not here? Well, it's kind of strange because, you know, we always would kind of touch base on, hey, there's this cool movie I saw or uh, here's some new technical thing. Do we think this one's uh, going to work out or not? And, you know, Paul always was worried about his health. It's almost, it, this was his third bout of cancer. Uh, the first one in 1983 was when he stopped working at Microsoft and it changed his perspective. He didn't want to come back and work like I wanted people to, <laughs> to work, which actually I was disappointed, but anyway, it, it, it worked out fine. Then he had another bout in 2011, uh, and, and now, so, he, you know, he, and Paul always uh, had challenges with health, and, you know, I, I actually think he, he was worried, uh, you know, so it's awful that he was right, uh, uh, and that, you know, was kind of, hanging over him uh, quite a bit. 
Um, you know, his sister's going to carry on a lot of the charitable stuff he did. He was, you know, part of the Giving Pledge, so the majority of his wealth will go to, to charitable things. Uh, you know, I've actually seen uh, a friend of his, Bert Coldy uh, and Allison, this week, just, you know, sort of talk more about Paul and, you know, the great memories we have. 